hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today hopefully we are going to be finishing up our march e-club kit project now i had started videoing and or so i thought and i wasn't actually videoing so there are a couple of things that i've done that are not on the video i don't know y'all know how i am so um let me show you what i think did not get recorded um i put some scraps from the papers into that little pocket um this was one of the sheets that was um included in the kit for mine and i just folded it up and stuck it in this top load pocket let me see if i can get it back in there now I don't remember, I think I had done the belly band and done the little bind with the Nouveau drops and I just stuck some of the um, paper that was in the kit in there. Uh, nothing done on that one, nothing on that one. I think I had already done that. Um, this was another one of the pages that was in my kit and I just folded it and stuck it in there. Nothing nothing I put a pocket on the back I don't remember I think I've done that on camera um I done the holes I went ahead and punched the holes and then I just put some of the scraps in there this is the main part that I had done um that did not get recorded so I took a piece of the ribbon and um, that was included with my kit and then I took some of those um acetate pieces and the ones that would kind of line up I lined them up and then glued them on. So I made like a bookmark um, for the thing. And so I brought it over and I glued it here and here. And so I think I left this as a belly band. I did. So that is actually like a little belly band. I don't know if I'll put anything in it or not. But then I do have a pocket here. So um, I did do that much. Um, and I think that's all. Oh, I had made a tag um, with a piece of the leftover plain colored paper cardstock. Y'all know I can't say the name of it. And then I had drew some of the, the vines and the leaves with the Nouveau drops. And then I took one of the acetate leaves and I was just trying to see how it would take the acetate drops. And I absolutely love it. So um, let's just go ahead and let's get this put together and get this little project done. So um, what I want to do right now is I want to figure out the order that I want to put my pages. And so I think I'm going to go, I don't know. Y'all know how I am or y'all should know by now at least. So I'm going to put these kind of in an order first. And then I will um, add in, I actually kind of want this somewhere in the middle so that I can put my bookmark, my placeholder, any somewhere along either front or back of the book. And we're just going to go with this order here. It is perfectly fine. I don't care. because. And the thing is, the way that I'm attached putting it together with the rings. If I don't like the way something is in order as I start using it, I can just always rearrange it. So that's one good thing about attaching something like with rings. And I'm just going to kind of put these little pieces kind of scattered throughout. Um, I just like the color that they add to it. And it's not really anything major but I just like the way that they look so there we go all right let's go ahead and get see if we can get the um ah I'm making a mess see if we can get my rings to cooperate with me and if we can then we'll go ahead and get this together and then we can finish decorating it now again there's so many different ways that you could attach and make this into a book you could do um 
you could do it where you have like um take the cardstock and use that to make a little flip that the pages would stick down in i have a video on my channel of some of the um some journals that i've done like that and i don't y'all know my memory if i can try to remember i'll try to post um link that some of those videos or link a playlist or something below but y'all know how i am so i had started filming or so i thought um when i got done with my budget video yesterday and if y'all haven't watched my budget video please at least go watch it even if you don't actually watch it just turn it on and play it in the background because whether you do the budgeting or not i do the budgeting on this channel because it holds me accountable and i am one of those i'm a very and i didn't realize i was that way but i'm actually a very competitive person and so i always want to succeed and excel in whatever i'm doing and because i know that people are watching my ah watching my budget and watching me every two weeks when i film it um it really holds me accountable and i do so much better um, with my spending and that kind of stuff because i know that people are going to be watching so um again whether you do the budgeting or not if y'all could just please do me the favor whether you just play it in the background and not actually watch it just to play it i would so appreciate that um because it really does help me out more than you guys know um ah uh, i forgot to punch the hole in that um i will be doing um i don't know if i'm going to do it with this month's youtube pay or if i'll wait until next month but i am going to be doing a video where i am just stuffing nothing but my youtube pay and that's all possible simply because of you guys it looks like I lost a jewel off of a nail somewhere. I don't know. I was playing with my nails earlier and just decided to... Y'all know I've been putting jewels on everything, and so I've done my nails. Anyway, um, I am going to do a video. Like I said, I don't know if I'll do it with this month's paycheck. Because I just got my YouTube paycheck. Um... But if I don't do it with this month's, it'll, I will do it maybe with next month's because I want you guys to see how much I get thanks to you all watching my videos. Oh, there, I did lose an um, jewel. Um, because I would not be getting that paycheck if it were not for you guys watching and liking and commenting on the videos. All right, it is together. Oh, that was harder than it should have been. That's because the... Oh, look how cute. Guys, look at that. Now, if I want to dress up, I wonder how I could do... Let me cut this in half a minute. I could probably dress up those rings a little bit. Let's see what we can do. And I don't think I have a lighter in here to burn the ends of these. So if I don't, I will just, um, I'll put some glue on the end of it. Let me cut this one in half. I used some off of this to do my little bookmark. And I am still not feeling good. I, I guess part of it is probably um, allergies with it being the top of, kind of year that it, time of year that it is. My beautiful burgundy car is actually yellow right now. It is crazy. And you know what? I could put some jewels on that or I could tie a bow. I'm going to leave that like that for right now. All right. Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's adorable. And so, see, this is not on that page. So, like, I could mark the page that I'm actually um, using. 
I love this. This is so cute. So I need to add some stuff into. I need to put some decorations on it. Let me grab some of my stickers. Hmm. I may have to pause the video so I can go get my, well, here's some right here. Let's see what we have. Let's see if we have any that would match. Let me see. I need to get rid of some of these stickers. I need to do a giveaway and give away some of these stickers and stuff because I used to have all of these in my shop. And then shipping just got crazy. Um, I started having major issues with the post office. And so it was just better for me to just take the stuff out of my shop rather than try to deal with the post office and their stupidity. So I have thousands probably of this stuff. So I think I will do that. I still need to send Miss Sue a package. Miss Sue, if you're watching, I just realized when I said that, I just realized that I still need to send you something. Now I'm going to try, maybe try to do that today. All right. Here are some purple flowers. So that'll match. Um, those butterflies don't match. I don't know if any of that matches. Let's we'll see what that is. Those are stamps. That doesn't match. That's yellow. These are like stamps. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to pause the video. I am going to grab some more of these and hopefully some that actually have some matching colors. That might look cute. And because I know I have a lot of these colors that would match. See, that's not going to match, I don't think. That might match. Yeah, let me do that. Let me grab some um, stuff that I think will match a little better than what I've got out right here. And then I will be right back. You guys won't even know it. Okay, guys, I am back. I have pulled just a few of the things that I have that I'm thinking that may possibly match I mean it doesn't really have to match but y'all should know me by now so let's just see what we have that we might can work with um, I've got way too much stuff here and um, no way I'm going to need all of this but you know I would say that choices help but actually for me when I have this many choices, it makes it hard for me to decide what I want to actually use. I don't know if you guys are like that or if I'm just the main crazy one. But I know a lot of times when I have too many choices, I can't make a decision. So let's just see what we can do. All right. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what I want to do on this cover. And so it is so nice with it being the greens and purples. I love that. And I don't know what I want to do on the cover. I don't even know if I want to do anything to the cover, though. That's the thing. Let's see. I could go right here. Do I have purple butterflies? I know I do. I just don't know if I pulled them. There's some green ones. I didn't pull the purple butterflies. Really? Betty Renfro. See, those are the wrong color. What is up with you, girl? With all the stuff you got, you didn't pull the ones that you needed. Okay, well, we're just going to go with it. We could put... see what is in here. Okay, so these are like stickers and labels. This is cute. Let's see if we've done... I don't know if I want to use that piece or just a piece of actual book page. I have a 
book right here. Actually, I have about 1,500 books right here, but let me just grab. Let me see what this one is. This is one I picked up from the library for a dollar. Uh, let's get a piece of this. I don't even know what year this book is. See, y'all, I just went off down a little rabbit trail. Like, none of the pages are the same size. And 1931. Um, don't want to use that book. I'm just looking to see what other book I have right here. I don't know if I want to use that one yet. What is this one? French cooking. Let's use that one. Okay, let's use a piece out of this one. Yeah, this one's not as old, but it does have some pretty paper in it. So... Let me just pull a piece. No. It's easier said than done. Alright. It's just because I won't like the stick. Is that two pieces? Yes. That's why. Because I want to have some paper behind that um yeah see that's what I want all right so let's do some ink and I'm using this purple what is it dusty concord I'm using that to ink this up And this is a sticker. I think I do want to round the corners with that little corner round part. Just slightly. And let's go ahead and ink the edges of that. Just a little bit. Alright, so now we need to glue this down. And I'm just using my Barely Art to glue that down. And then I think this is a sticker anyway. Let's see. It may not be. No, it is. I don't, I think I'm going to add a little bit of glue to it though. I don't know that I trust the sticker part of it. It feels pretty sticky though. I like that. That's cute. So see, I mean, you can use all kinds of stuff to embellish and um, make your little journal pages look, you know, better or cuter or whatever. Um, you don't have to stick with this whatever. Um, I tell people all the time, think outside the box. And I'm just going to add, my heart will go on. Let's see. Let's see if it'll fit in there. I think it will. Or should I fold it? Because it don't seem like it's sturdy enough. This is some thin paper. And I can just stick it in there like that. I think that'll work. I love that. And I don't want anything thick really in this pocket because I don't really want it pulling. But this may be a little too wide, but I want to keep that, so let's do this. I don't want to fold it to put it in that pocket, so I'm just going to go right here, and I am just going to cut a smidgen off of each side so that it'll still look even, but it will fit in the pocket better. Hopefully. 
that's my thought process, but that don't mean anything. Just not wanting to like cram it in there. But there we go, that's cute. And then we still have something that needs to go in there. Um, huh. I'm looking at my stamps right now to see if I want to stamp anything. That's not what I want. Um, I have, let me put my stamp out. Because we may actually do some stamping too. Let me see. Alright, I'm just looking to see what else I can find. Like I don't have enough stuff out already. I got a ton of stuff out. But no, I still got to have more out. Let's see. Let's do some stamping on that page because it's looking a little dull. I think I have my... Guys, I should have been better prepared. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I'm trying to get my, um, my little stamp book. Where did it go? I thought I had it. Hang on, guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I was looking on the bottom shelf and I had it on the middle shelf. So, that's why I couldn't find it. So, I think I want to add some stamping to this page. And I think something like that would look cute. Let's go with that. And I didn't bring the stamp block over. Oh, Lord have mercy. What y'all going to do with me? Let's see if it'll stick to this thing. I don't know if it will. Yep, it does. So there's our stamp block for the day. See, guys, that's all you got to do. You improvise. Y'all know I'm going to. So I'm just stamping my little butterfly stamp. And then going to stamp it down. And it didn't stamp good. Probably because of what I'm using as a stamp block. But it's okay. Because our journals don't have to be perfect. At all. Ah, that's cute. Okay. Let's see. Let me pick this up. Move this out of the way since I'm making such a mess with that. That might not have been such a great idea, but... We went with it. So we need to put something in there. And let's put, look at all that. I love it. I don't know. Let's do this. And you know what I want to do? Let's see if it will work. Let's put one of these washi, these purple washi stickers on it. And I think it'll look okay. Let's see how that one looks. I'm thinking it'll look okay. But I don't really know. But it's okay. One way or the other, we're going to act like it does, whether it does or not. But I think it will. I actually think it does look cute. And then I'm just going to tuck that right down in there. Mm, do I want to turn it this way? I think it'll be okay turning it that way. I'm going to leave it out a little bit. And then we have this back page here. Let's just put some more... Um, of the like the washi stickers down on that in the purple color and it'll bring that purple and green together i think i'm gonna do that one i don't even know what kind of flower this is i should know but i don't so 
So I'm going to put that one there. And let's just put this one on there somewhere. I love these washi stickers. All right, so let's put this out of the way for now. And let's move on along and see what else, what other kind of damage we can do. What do we have here? Because this is green type stuff. So we have this blank page here. We definitely need to put something on this page. Um, let's see what kind of sticker that we might have. I don't know how well these sticker these stamps will listen at me saying sticker and I'm talking about a stamp. I don't know how well these are going to stamp since I didn't bring a stamp block over. But we are going to try it anyway. Maybe if I put it on the bottom, maybe it'll be a little bit more. And then I put it on the no, I put it on the top. Let's see how this will stamp. I'm not getting it. Let me try this. Maybe this is my issue. There we go. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to be creative when, when you're like me and you forget to bring something over with you. Just be creative and use something else. And um like you see this this is actually a photo album that i picked up from dollar tree and you see that i use it for some of my stamp storage that's why i say all the time think outside the box let's have to see do i have any green over here I have whatever that is walnut stain and black soot and vintage photo that i brought over with me let's go with what on earth look at that because somebody didn't put their stamps up properly betty renfro Let's go with, um, let's go with walnut stain and let's put a butterfly down. Another one, but it's, dear goodness, y'all, it's one of them days. It's one of them days. It's all right. We are not going to let it beat us. Not at all. So, boom. Ha ha. I win. <laughs> Guys, I do not know how y'all put up with me and keep coming back to my channel. I'm just glad that y'all do. I just don't know how or why y'all do, but I'm so thankful for y'all. Because I can do some crazy stuff. And then I see people that can just sit down and create the most beautiful things. And then they, like, nothing goes wrong. Like, everything is perfect. I'm like, oh, one day, one day when I grow up, I will be like that. Yeah, I'll never get like that. So now we need something in here. What do we have? I need to do something with this stuff, but obviously I'm not going to do it right now. Let's see. What is this? Let's see what this is. Oh, it's tickets. Uh, those are the wrong color, but I do have these. Let's see what we have in here. I think these, some of these might match. What about if we like stuck some tickets down in it? Hmm. That's not going to work for that. 
because they are too long. What do I have? Let's just go back with maybe. Let's go with one of these again. I'll just grab one. Well, that one's the Christmas tree. I don't want a Christmas tree. Silent night. Okay, well, let's do whatever this one is. Composition number five. And let's put some purple onto it. Let's see what we can do. I'm just adding like some, I don't know, just make it kind of blend in. I think I like the washi st um, stickers better on that, but it's okay. We're not going for perfection, obviously, because I'm doing it. If y'all looking for perfection, yeah, might. Oh, y'all see that? My sugar meter, my sensor is going off, saying my sugar is low. Ugh. That thing won't wake me up in the middle of the night, guys. It is so aggravating, but I guess I need to hush my mouth and be thankful. Because it is letting me know. Which means I will have to end this video shortly so that I can go ugh, get something to eat. That's my problem. I don't want anything to eat. Which is why my sugar is low. Because I just about refuse to eat lately. I never thought I'd be at that point. I'm talking to the girl that loved to eat. I used to tell my doctor, um, y'all know I'm getting off on a side tangent thing. I used to tell my doctor that they didn't have to worry about me doing drugs. Dr uh, food was my drug. That's what I wanted. If I had a bad day at work or, you know, if my ex-husband and I were fussing or anything like that, I turned to food. Food was, that was my thing. And then I... Somehow, I am at a point where I no longer see food as a drug or a coping mechanism. And so now, I just have to, I'm on the flip side, where now I have to be careful because I don't eat enough. So, it's crazy. I go from one extreme to another. Yep. So, y'all know how crazy I can be. Ah, I'm not getting that put on right. I don't want to cover up all of the green on the page, but I did want to add something. I don't know how I like that, but it's too late now because I've already put it on there. Ha! Huh? And I do want some... I think I want these... Let's see what these are. See guys, I have too much stuff out. I can't decide what all I want to use. I want to use it all. And these, they've already layered for me, so we're going with that. I'm just putting this little sticker right there. And I don't know what that is. Oh, it's those green things there. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some of this stuff up so that I am not as tempted. I'm still tempted. What am I talking about? I'm just going to straighten it a little bit. How about that? Let's just be honest. All right. I just saw something I do want to use. I don't know what this came out of. Probably the... I love that. Let's put that back here. Okay, I'm going to just set that right there. And a lot of this stuff, guys, I don't know if you know, um, you know, I get it from overseas, from, and it's from China. 
And so you look at some of the stuff that they have, like for the words, and you're like, um, okay. Because it don't make sense at all. Like something got lost in translation big time. So I'm just looking to see what of this I might want. Thousands of miles like a spring breeze blowing in your ears. It don't make sense, but at least that one's not as stupid as some. Breeze, because of you, the forest in early winter smells of summer flowers. Well, that's okay. Love is like prosperity in the breeze. Okay, we'll use some of these. Hidden in the breeze, excluding all romantic surprises and miscellaneous love words. Maybe love is just a company that lasts as long as possible. Hmm. Oh, some of these are just crazy. Some people can buy you flowers. Some people can accompany you to wait for flowers. See, guys, I get lost. I just get to messing with some of this stuff, and then I'm just like, oh, okay. You are hidden in the breeze. Okay. I'm just thinking of some of these. You are my joy hidden in the breeze. I'm just trying to see what all I can put down. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at it. Ugh. I don't need to get aggravated at it, I know. Because it's just warning me for my own good, but... Um, let's see. Let's move along. This Betty Renfrew is making a mess. We need to put some stuff back here on this back page. And I think I'm just going to put this. Maybe. And I'm just going to put that down. Actually, I like that. And what about some of this? Yes. Yes. See, it's starting to come together a little bit more, or so I think. So when I get done filming this, I am going to try and go ahead and um, get it uploading real quick so that it can post today. And I am obviously going to have to figure out something to eat. And... I want to, hopefully I can do some, like, um, more videos today, um, because I really want to, um, have videos for you guys next week. I've got to get back in the habit of doing my videos. Um, I, I got, I don't know, I start, I became a major slacker with the cruise, and I just kind of got out of the the groove of it and then it was just things were like crazy and so um i didn't i haven't had a lot of opportunity to record the videos like i really want to but i need to do better i like how that looks i really like that um so yeah, I need to do better about recording for you guys because y'all have been so faithful and so kind and it is the least that I can do um, to do videos for you guys because I am so appreciative to each and every one of you. Um, I've had a few people make some ugly comments here and there. But for the most part, I have had nothing but good from almost all of you guys. And I love y'all for that. Y'all have made... And I can, you know, I can be like having a bad day at times and then I'll get on. And I don't respond to a lot of comments simply because there's so many. and um. I've got, so if I were to stop and sit down and respond to all of them, it's just, it's almost impossible. But I do read them all. Every single one I do read. And I'm telling you guys, y'all's comments really, 
y'all's comments can make the day. They really do. I, and I'm not just saying that. I, I'm being very honest with that. Y'all, your comments are so sweet. I thought I was going, going to want one of those like jars, but I don't think I do. I think I'm going to put some flowers. If you're interested in any of these stickers that I have, I may do like a little flash sale just to kind of get rid of some of them. And guys, what you see is just a small, small portion of what I have. Um, and I'm not even wanting to make money on them. If I can just cover like my shipping and maybe give me 50 cent or a dollar to cover my um, envelope or whatever. And then I will put some in a giveaway. But if y'all are interested in any of this stuff, let me know. If y'all are interested, I will um, post like some lots on Facebook to where it'll be. Um, like I'll do maybe like some washi stickers in a group. Um, or And maybe like some of these type stickers in a group. So it's not like it won't be just one pack. Um, I'll do, oh my goodness, guys, this thing is driving me crazy. I guess I'm going to have to call this thing done so that I can go eat before this thing calls the ambulance to me. I mean, I'm feeling fine. I don't know what its problem is, but let's see what we got. We're going to have to call it done so it will stop fussing because it will keep going off and then eventually it will notify somebody i think i have it to notify my husband instead of like law um the ambulance i believe i think that's how it's set up but knowing my luck i don't i'll be have it set up the, a different way and i'll be sitting here filming and all of a sudden emts will show up at my house so yeah so we're just i think we're done enough that you know you guys saw kind of what to what i've done I'm just trying to clean some of this up so we can actually see what I've done. Okay. Yes. Oh, we'll use that. I'm not throwing that away. See, that's the other thing. I like to save it all. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. And I think we'll call it done enough. Let's move some of this stuff. All right, guys, let's do a quick flip through. Just so that we can kind of get an idea. I think it's cute. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way so it's not in it's not still in the spotlight. All right, guys, here we go. Let me zoom, see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. So we have our cover that we done with some um, heavy chipboard and then we covered it with the basil, basil paper as a mat. And y'all see I've done my Nouveau drops and then touched them. Then on the inside, we just put some more of the um, basil, the cardstock is what I'm going to call it. Then I've done some Nouveau drops to um, like really accentuate the lines and the leaves, the veining. And it just kind of gave it that 3D effect. I love that. We just added some purple stickers there. This was some of the paper that was included in the kit. On this one, we done this little pocket here. And I done some more of the Nouveau drops, just kind of highlighting the leaves there. And then I just stuck some paper down in it. On this one, we took two of the um, pages and glued them together and made a top loading pocket. And then I just stuck one of the pages that was in the kit. Oh, I might can do, I'm going to do some of the um, veining on that. And then that's another piece of the paper. Again, we done just some of the veining on the leaves. And then we put a sticker with some book page backing. Then we had a bottom tuck pocket here. We done some of the Nouveau drops to make it look like pearls. Then this one, we took two of the pages and we glued them together to make a side load pocket and then stuck a paper down in it. I need to do veining on that. Then we done some of the veining with the Nouveau drops here. And then this is actually 
it's like a bookmark and what I've done was I used um, some of the acetate pieces that came with the kit and the ones that kind of matched up size wise I glued them together and sandwiched the um, some of the ribbon in between it and then I attached the ribbon to the other side of the page at the top and down below this pocket made it a belly band and then I put the pocket over it so that you can't see the bottom of the ribbon and then this one we took two pages and glued together to make a side load pocket put some stickers there we got a paper we done some stamping tried to do some stamping put a sticker got a sticker there we have another side load pocket with some paper stuck a sticker there we done some more Nuvo drops with the veining this is a top load pocket that I didn't put anything in yet, but we will. Then we have a side load pocket. I don't have anything in it yet. You know what? Let's do this. Then I put a belly band on that same page. And then I've done some of the Nuvo drops to make like a vine. And I think I want to put some of these tags right there. I like the color of the, oh my goodness, guys. It's really driving me crazy. It's telling me, you idiot, your sugar bottoming out. All right, then we have the top load pocket there, and then we have this bag. But I do need to put that somewhere before I get off of here. Let's stick it right there. All right, guys, I'm sorry this video was scattered. Number one, I didn't have all my stuff together. And number two, this stupid sensor keeps fussing at me that my sugar is bottoming out and I've got to go get food before they call the ambulance to me. So there's that guys. Let me know what you think of this project. Let me know if you were able to get this e-club kit. If you are a member or if you were able to do a um, the one-time purchase of it. I would love to know. Isn't that pretty? Wait, isn't that pretty? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god guys y'all i'm so bad all right guys i will talk to y'all later thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys